Definitely. So what are the challenges of playing a copper in a comedy role? <laughs> <laughs> Making it funny. <laughs> Making it real. Um, yeah, it's... Well, it, 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 there are lots of funniness in this show, but essentially I, I, th I approach it as a drama, really, that you're playing a sincere character. You don't go off, off the, you know, you go up a road just for a laugh, ever. That it's always integral to what the big story is and who the big characters are and what's going on between them. And it, there are certain characters who speak in quite a witty way, um, quite like life, you always get those larger than life people who use humour as a way to manage situations and to control other people and there are those who don't in, in the series so it's, I feel essentially we're telling a story above all else and it's quite a roller coaster ride of a story hmm. When we were filming it um, we, we didn't have that many laughs did we? We didn't push for laughs like you said hmm. um, we never, we just went, we, we took it as a drama, that we were doing a serious drama. So can you tell us about the characters, your Vivian and Joy, mm. they seem uh, miles apart. Yeah, they really are miles apart, yes. Joy and Viv. Well, I mean, apart from anything else, um, Viv is old enough to, to be Joy's mum, and, uh, and, and she does play, you know, she sees potential in Joy, Vivian Deering is, is the detective inspector. It's her team. It's her show. She she runs that place like a kind of you know um, like she's a, she's a madam in a brothel. There's something about the way she approaches it. But she she sees the individuality of every character, uh, of not every person in her that that are characters in the show. And and with Joy, she sees this spark of something that Joy can't see in herself. Of capability and competence, and she she has to bully her really one way or another to to put her in a situation where that's going to come out. Um, so, yeah. Yes, as as the series goes on as well, um, Joy becomes a, a, a much more competent police officer, and, and she becomes much better at it. Um, but when yeah, when you start out as as Joy, I approached her as very anxious. Um, you know, uh, but always buttoned up so tight she could pop. And how did you find uh, being blonde <laughs> and being very bossy? <laughs> <laughs> well, in real life, I'm not blonde, so that was a, um, a change. And uh, but in real life, I am quite bossy. <laughs> not that bossy. <laughs> <laughs> not quite that bossy. That's true. Um, but I enjoyed my bossiness uh, as a cat. You know, it's a, as a trait, it's something. It's always, you know, I rationalise it and the character rationalises Viv rationalises it. It's always f for a good purpose. She's not going around bossing people just because she's on a big power trip, ever. There's always something that's at the bottom of it and she needs to use this method. Uh, she uses other methods as well, but that is a big one um, to achieve an end. It's means and ends with, with Vivian. Um, and being blonde was... A lot of people were you know visiting um guest uh, stars would come and then they'd see this this blonde woman and think god you know and lots of people would say well that really suits you and inside i feel so deeply brunette you know as <laughs> as joanna i am just utterly a brunette and not a blonde so it it's always good to to have something that you know like um almost like a kind of external suit that you just put on and you can see the dis make that difference between yourself and that character yeah do you think uh, you'd make good police officers yourselves i pick an awful police officer i think <laughs> i think i'd be much like my dad just letting everyone get off on it go on go before i tell oh, anyone i think nice just, yeah just <laughs> be too nice i think <laughs> not enough cautioning yeah maybe not wouldn't be hitting those targets, I tell you that. No, mm, yeah, you'd be under trouble. Yeah. In trouble with the targets. <laughs> I think in a way, I've got an inner DI. Um, <laughs> although, I, in reality, I think I would be very, very scared in those situations. I mean, mm. you know, I'm terrified of if there's violence kicking off or, you know, anything where there's a sort of, uh, you know, something kind of the, the, the whiff of. Of malign activity actually scares yeah. scares me silly.